Nice day out today, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, damn. Got something? Yeah, I forgot to stagger my time of exit with Shirley's. We've both got an 11 o'clock all the way across campus, and I can't get that kind of distance with... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's mean. No, that's not nice. I find Shirley very easy to talk to. Besides, aren't you supposed to have some sort of Olympic medal for jibber-jabber or something? <sighs> yeah, but I'm a sprinter. I'm at my best during high-speed bursts of wit. You lock me in Shirley's stride for a marathon banter about her brownies, and the awkward silence is going to set in before we hit the stoner tree. My class is that way. All right, but I'd just like to point out that we just walked over a hundred yards without a single awkward pause, and that is the mark of a true friend. So, it was nice talking with you, friend. I'm glad you're not hitting on me anyway. And there's the awkward pause. Welcome, research assistants. Now, if you'll turn your attention to the monitor, you'll see our subjects waiting for the experiment to begin. But, it's already started. <laughs> You're welcome. Right, the waiting is the experiment. The Duncan Simp principle is quite simple. You see, the more control lost... The more control lost by the ego, the more gained by the id, resulting in a surprisingly predictable emotional eruption, known as, to my own pa, as a tantrum. <laughs> Annie, will you please go and let our subjects know the experiment's about to start? But tell them it'll still be about five minutes. Oh, and Annie. Hi everyone. Hi Trina. Hi Ben. Oh, I see you, Jane. Yeah, what? You don't think a community college Spanish teacher could use Yeti Buff? Okay, so we're running a little bit behind today, but it'll take about 55 minutes. No! Unacceptable! When he says something starts at 9, it starts at 9! Don't waste the tempo! Don't waste the tempo! Well, now we're off. Did you know that we walk the same way after class? I'm sure you didn't or else we would have been walking together. Unless you were jerk. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, hold on now. <laughs> Going a little too fast for these dogs. <laughs> How do you, you like kid, right? <laughs> What was that? Uh, nothing. Pierce is not exactly right in his head, is he? Oh, well, I don't know. He seems like a pretty normal kind of guy. Oh, wait. He's nuts. <laughs> you better be careful. You might be listening with his Inspector Gadget hearing aid. <laughs> you know that show? Yeah, I know that show. <laughs> and what about that hacky sap guy always around flirting with Britta? It's embarrassing. I know, he's the worst! I mean, what is with that hair? It's perpetually moist, and he's constantly evangelizing green tea. No offense, but if I want medical advice, I will get it from someone with socks. <laughs> and what about his tiny nipples? I mean, oh, they're ridiculous. Oh my God. All right, let's review the last three hours. I want you to pay particular attention to the subject's breaking points. All right. Oh, look at this one, he's a screamer. Oh, he's a stomper. Oh, she's bleeding. Oh, look at the little one chasing the big one. It's like Benny and Hill. Oh! Did he just hit that girl? Oh, I've seen this one. The longer they take, the harder they break buckling students. <laughs> Has he got a whip? <laughs> I wouldn't have a few off if Hacky Suck takes his shirt off. He plays shirts and skins in a game of checkers. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> it's so good to be able to talk to you about this guy. I wanted to tell Britta about him, but we're supposed to be friends now, and she thinks that I was jealous. I see why you and Britta aren't together. Two cute young people going to school together. It just seems right. Shirley, we're not pandas in the zoo. <laughs> oh, dear. That is not what I wanted to see. And there goes the shirt.